won some socks yesterday. Won some socks, that's right. I like winning stuff and then putting it to use immediately. So, going for a run, squeezing it in before a little grill session tonight. Um, so, some smart wool socks. Thank you once again, GoPro, for the amazing race yesterday in Vail. Go check it out. It was a good day. All right, time to run. Again. Does this look funny? All right, folks, you spoke and someone listened. Yep. What arrived today, Han, for the big 3-3? Three, three. Yep. What arrived? Happy birthday to the papa from his boys, a charcoal starter. Hey, yo. What's it called? A chimney. A chimney. A charcoal chimney. It's a perfect. charcoal chimney. I read in the comments somebody was saying, or many people were saying, you have to have it, you have to have it. It was Damien, I, and, Damien and Robert. Damien and Robert. Thank you for the good advice. I was We wanted to get him just something simple for his birthday, and I was like, what does he need? What would he like? So thank you. And Boom. he said it worked great. It worked amazing. And it I went to Ace and got it, and the gentleman was like a teenager. I was like, do you have that thing? And he pointed right to it. It was perfect. Oh, my gosh. Easy peasy. Huh. I'm telling you, Robert, Damien. Robert you just, and Damien. You just saved days of my life. Days of my life moving forward with this chimney. That's, it's just amazing. It's just brilliant. It's brilliant. So... Thank you for commenting below with your tips on grilling. Fun, here we go. All right, we're putting it on. All right, folks, want to give you a quick race recap from yesterday, Sunday. I ran the 10K up in Vail, Colorado. Basically, the gun goes off. It's a very steep course. It's, it's a crazy course. It was much, much more difficult than I expected. Very steep terrain. So the first half mile, I'm in like 10th place, maybe 8th place. I was like, oh, man, this is not starting off so well. Uh, Joe Gray was in the lead. He was way out in front, and then there was like seven eight guys in between him and me and then we hit this steep section at about three quarters of a mile and all these guys around me they look like they're in college because they were because i could tell because they had their their college uniforms on and i was like man maybe the 10k distance is like too fast for me now because it's so short six miles instead of 32 miles but then the old mountain goat legs kicked in on this really steep section going straight up the ski hill and I went from like 8th place, 10th place, right around there to 4th place and then slowly caught 4th and 3rd and ended up in 2nd. But it was like a little bit of a wake up call like, okay, I'm not 22 anymore, 33, just turned yesterday, but like be patient, trust like trust and Joe who won, Joe Gray, he is 34. Uh, I'm 33 and third place was 37 isn't that fascinating so like basically it's true like science is correct the longer you run like at least in you know I believe now let's listen young young guys can win long races as well and mountain races but the longer you run the more you build up your lung capacity the strong like I feel very strong right now mostly from like wrestling the boys and like mowing the lawn uh, anyway, I digress. It was fun. It was an amazing race, second place, and um, we'll take it. We'll see what comes up next. Actually, our speed goat is next in July. Okay, comment of the week. It's a short one, but I love it. It goes out to Robert. It's Monday, so we're doing the comment of the week. Robert, where is it? Oh, boy, I lost it. Hold on. Hold your horses. Take a chill pill. All right, here we go. 
Robert commented, I think a week ago, it was exactly a week ago, on the vlog that kind of talked about survival. And listen, life is busy, life can be difficult sometimes. And so Robert wrote, my father said that if you are surviving, you are doing okay. There is always something. And I think I was talking about like maybe painting the house or like there's always something, especially as a homeowner, I'm discovering. I have, I have to put things off constantly for myself to see that my mother is surviving in hopes that I survive her. Such is life. We do what we can. And so Robert takes care of his, his, his mom, his elderly mom, who I believe is in her 90s. And like, God bless you, Robert, for taking care of your mother. But it's like, there's always something, right? You got to be patient. You got to just like, and that's family. That's friendship. That's sacrifice for others. And there's always going to be something. So you got to be flexible. Uh, you got to be flexible in this world. All right, I'm going to stop. That's the vlog today. Grilling was amazing. Uh, the plant is secure out in the front yard. It's Monday. We're cranking. It's a new week. New opportunities. Love you guys. And um, whew, surviving and thriving. Surviving and thriving. Seek beauty. Work hard. Love each other. Same one.